friends. I'm so happy that you're here with me today and we are going to make drums out of containers. One of my containers will be an oatmeal container. That's this one here. Then we have cans, beans, and uh, I think these were beets, and this was a tuna fish can. So what we'll need are as many cans or containers as you like. That will be how many drums you'll have. Balloons will fit on the top of these. And I measured out strips of paper. So your size will depend on what your can is. And mom and dad, you'll be the ones that will be cutting the cans for the children, okay? So we can, for example, on this one here, I just took black paper and I took a white, it's like a wax crayon. You could use white crayons. You could use white paint. You could use, they even have painters, markers, white. And then on this little one here, which is a tuna fish can, I just wrapped a little band around and I used my green marker. I made dots. So here I made dots. On this one here, I painted with my watercolors and I made stripes, vertical stripes. And for this can here, I think I might paint some horizontal stripes. So I'm going to go ahead and put my balloon on top of my can. in our drums here. Now, um, when we use watercolors, because that's what I'll be using today, if you have watercolors, you can join me, and I'd like to make sure that you know how to use the watercolors. When you use the watercolors and you just touch the, um, the paint without water, you don't really get any color. So what you have to do is wet your brush very good, and then touch the color that you want and scrub, 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 scrub. Don't just touch it and then paint. You really want to, as we say, load your brush with a beautiful color. So I'm going to paint this across horizontally. And you see it's like a yellowy orange. I, that's very bright, I like that. But if you don't scrub, the color won't come out. For example, now, you can't go from one color to the next color because then you'll mix it up and it won't work. And a lot of times, some of my friends, this is what they'll do, is they'll go to a color and they'll get the color on and then they wash it off. Well, no, don't wash it off because then there's no color really, see? So you have to get the water, scrub, 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 Keep scrubbing and stay in that same color. Don't go to the next color, stay in that same color. There we go, and I'm going straight across. I'm making horizontal, horizontal is this way. Vertical is this way. Vertical is up and down. Horizontal is back and forth. It's almost like where the horizon is, where the earth and the sky meet. That's horizontal across. So here we have a beautiful purple. Ooh. Rinse, rinse, rinse. I think I'll go to a nice blue. Scrub, scrub, scrub. There's Miss, one of Miss Diana's favorite colors, that turquoise blue. And I also like fuchsia, which is, uh, or magenta. It's a very bright, bright, deep pink. Now I think I'll go to a light green. Scrub, scrub, scrub. I will go across. It's like a yellow green. And did you know that if you mix 
yellow and blue. Two primary colors. Two out of three the primary colors are yellow, red, and blue. But if you mix yellow and blue, you will get green. Let's see, what other color would I like? Maybe a dark green. Let's do that. Watch, if I mix, let's rinse, rinse, rinse. Maybe I need clean water, but if I go to my yellow, let's see if I have a piece of paper here. If I go to my yellow, see there's yellow, and I take a little bit of blue, and I go to the yellow, that's a lot of blue. And I go to the yellow, look at it, it starts to turn green. Do you see that? I love mixing colors. Okay, so now I rinse my brush, that's finished. Okay, and I put my, my balloon on this end, and then I have my metal. You get different sounds. Once this dries, we'll wrap it around. But you know, some people have a talent for music. And whether it's you play that you play the piano or the violin or the guitar, you could play the drums too. That's a musical instrument. There's all kinds of instruments and some people as they say, have an ear for playing music or have the rhythm inside of them to play the drums. So some people are very talented and very special in having a gift to play these things. Just like some people can have an eye for art. You know, you have a very natural uh, feeling to do art and make beautiful things, whether it's sculptures with clay or, um, painting or with paper. There's all kinds of things to do visually with your eyes and arts. And actually, music is an art too. So anyway, this looks semi-dry here and we'll put this on here and no, I am not musically talented, but if I help some of you make some drums, little drums, not real loud stuff where you're going to chase mommy and daddy out of the house, but um, these instruments here are well enough that you might end up finding that you have a talent to play the drums. You know, there's different things you can do with the drums. You, these are uh, chopsticks. You can use other things, you can use um, pencil. See, this is made of paper. This is tin. These are tin cans. But they still have different sounds. Like this is deeper. This is higher. So if I you can play on this side as well. That's different. I want you to have your own little band, your little drum session, your little drum band. You could, uh, I don't know, call it beating polka dots. That's the name of the band or your band, whatever, or Rainbow Star, because we have rainbows on here. You can hit name your band and play. As you see, Miss Diana doesn't know how to play, but that's okay. I had fun making these, and I had fun beating on them. And I hope you do too. So 
let mommy and daddy help you and try to make the drums. An interesting thing, um, our Native American Indians many years ago used to have what they called tom-toms. And they would use them for their dances and also because many, many years ago, they didn't have phones. They couldn't call their friends. So the other people and other tribes, other families, when they want them to come or warn them of something, they would beat their drums. Whether it be twice for, um, come on over and eat. Every once in a while, come on over and eat. So they had different ways of communicating with drums. These were like phones at one time. So have fun with it and I'll see you next time. Please take care. Bye-bye.